champion of the world, Rocky Marciano, sparring with the little man who was found by Frank Sinatra behind a deadpan, Joey Fisher. Joey, I'm trying to think the first time we met. Well, I took my, uh, my father had never seen a championship fight in his life. Now Frank Sinatra got him a ticket to see you fight War Cotton. I pulled it off for you. Take the good one. Yeah, the only, uh, I'll tell you something, that was the most exciting night my father's ever had in his entire life. He's, he's a great fight fan, my father. I know you had a few fights, Joey. Now, uh, well, it uh, comes back to me, you were welterweight? Well, only amateur, you know, in the service. Fritzy Zivic was the uh, coach of the boxing team. You know, in the fight game, uh, all the fighters, we have their own reputation, and Fritzy Zivic's reputation is that he knew all of the tricks. I mean, even the not-so-clean type of tricks, you know, the thumbs, the elbows, the, the head butt, really a master. In fact, he not only used the thumb, he used the dial after that. That he was, was what uh, he made the other guy angry, I think. I believe it was Sugar Ray Robinson that finally, uh, finally beat him and retired him. Yeah. Joe, you look like about 160 pounds to me. That's exactly what I weigh. And you, you're in better shape than some of the fighters I fought. I'm still in pretty fair shape. Can you still throw punches? You kidding? You want to test me? Yeah. All right. Making a big mistake? All right. Get this hand up. Hey, that's a pretty good punch. Uh, how are your reflections? Not bad. Would you wait till I get my hand up, please? <laughs> what are you throwing punches like that for? You know, take it nice and easy. Oh, I saw something moving. You know what I'd like to do, Doc? Yeah. We'll do something for your audience and do it in slow motion. A 30 second slow motion fight. You're on. Right. No instructions. Uh -huh. Okay? Right. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions that I've always wanted to ask. You know, when the round is over and the seconds come into the ring and your manager and your trainer, can you tell me some of the things that are spoken about? <clears throat> uh, yeah, Joey, it all depends on the fight, of course. Uh, uh, they usually tell you what punches are landing best, um, maybe change your style a little bit, uh, maybe throw more uppercuts, or like change from the body to the head, or from the head to the body. Uh, usually, uh, they try to get one bit of information to you that you can use in the next round. Let me ask you, if I may. When uh, it gets close for, to a point where you think the fight's going to be stopped, I've often thought, uh, being, you know, a non-fighter, that the guy would say, thank heavens, you know? And yet, when we were talking at lunch yesterday, you said to me that in the excitement of a fight, the guy doesn't want the fight stopped. Uh, usually, a fighter likes to, or if he's going to lose, he likes to lose, go on the limit. No one likes to get knocked out. But uh, I know that all the boys I've ever talked to, they just despise it when a doctor comes in and he says, I think you've had enough. Now, in a championship fight, they don't stop a fight unless it's absolutely necessary. They want both boys to have the opportunity to win that crown, which is so important to every fighter, you see. Here's the bell for our main event. Ten rounder. Gil Turner, crowd pleaser. Versus Gene Fulmer, raw, rugged, and crude. This is a fight that showed a future champion, Fulmer, on his way up. His toughest opponent on the rise. The big test for the big money. Madison Square Garden, February 17th, 1956. Let me tell you about it as I saw it. Madison Square Garden. Here's Fulmer and Turner listening to instructions. This should be some fight. A few minutes ago, someone said, why did they make this fight? Both these nice kids are gonna kill each other. Here's Fulmer in black trunks, and he's in a hurry. They both have the same idea, survival of the fittest.
these two fight like twins, but they're much different. Over from the copper mines around Salt Lake City, a quiet kid. Turner from a crowded part of Philadelphia, a flashy car and big pinky ring, kind of showy. fought once before and Turner won the decision with hand speed. But now, Homer wants to do everything to smother it. Looks like he's gonna make the whole fight like this. Get Turner on the ropes and bang him. See how fast Turner punches. Every now and then Turner throws a left hook and then tries to spin clear and get punching room. There's no science to this thing. A real neighborhood brawl. Homer has an awkward way of throwing punches. Nothing ever comes at you straight. Always a chop or a wide sweeping kind of thing. I always did a lot of unorthodox things too, but nobody would let me change. When you start losing, it's time to change, they told me. two people alive would score that round alike. When Turner gets punching room, Homer folds his arm across his face like a crab. In close, his defense is to hit the other guy. Gene loves it in close. He doesn't think anybody is strong enough to beat him. Look at that Homer. Push him right across the ring. Jim, and the guys were telling him, you won't have to look for Turner, he's always in front of you. And Fulmer said, great, I'd like to fight him in a telephone booth if they let me. I hate these guys that run away. You've got everything you wanted, Gene. This fight is going to mean a big future to the winner. Right now it's real close. But this pace is murder. In close, they keep banging their heads. 
They're both trying to get the Lord and the other guy and punch up. That's what we call saying, how old is the other guy? shoulder into Turner and pushes. Good boy, but you better get punching room for yourself. If you blow this one, it'll cost you thousands. Don't you just hate these dull fights? Dull fights? I thought this was a very exciting fight. You didn't enjoy it? Isn't Gil from your hometown? Yes. Yes, Gil's from my hometown from Philadelphia, and he's held by a friend of mine named Georgie Katz. No one? Yes. I think, I, I never saw Gil in a bad fight. He always gave his all. We just see him in the later rounds, Joey. Just great. Get off fast this round, Turner. Sure, it's a tough fight. But do you like money? Then make it tougher from now on. Homer just never stops coming in. You catch him with a good hook and you figure there. That'll keep him off. Now let me work on him. Then boom. The next thing you know, He's got a shoulder against you. He's pounding you on the head, and the other hand slamming into your side. just blocked the hook with a crazy backhand move. That's the trouble with this guy. He can't figure out what he's going to do next. Trainer's getting in good left hooks, but Fulmer takes an awful punch. A strong chin? Sure, but look at those legs. That's what makes a guy hard to knock out. Be up every morning and run. You win fights in the morning. You get out on the road all alone and run until you get sick to your stomach. shots these guys are landing. They've got me dumping out of my seat. They give Fulmer one last word. Good hook, Turner. He caught you pulling away, Gene. Coming on, Gil, keep punching. And here's where Fulmer kills you. Look at how he comes right back. You hit him, and he gives you a receipt every time.
Look at Turner run at him. It's that kind of a night. I've been waiting to see if someone's gonna get tired. That's what's gonna decide this. Fulmer's right hand, and the head came in right behind it. What a night this guy makes it put in. I know just what Turner's manager is telling him. The same thing they're telling Fulmer over in his corner. You're behind, but if you could put two good rounds together, maybe we could pull it out. Come on now, go get him. It's a real close fight. So you get the fighter crazy and make him go for all he's worth. Even if he's a little ahead, tell him he's losing. Then after the fight, the manager can say, you've done what I told you. You pulled it out in the last two rounds. Fulmer seems stronger now. He's all over Turner holding him with one hand, clubbing him with the other. He's scoring a lot here, Gil. Throw those left hooks. You can blow the fight right here if you don't get going. right to the side. That's it. Look at that former start with the right again. And look at how he pushes Turner around. I think Fulmer can make the fight turn right here. You're way stronger, Gene. Move that guy back and throw the right. He hasn't blocked one for the last couple of rounds. That's what I mean. That one hurt Turner. Now he's got to come back and do something right away. That punch could be enough to give Fulmer the round, if they're even the rest of the way. Fulmer's too strong. See Turner start hanging on? to have any steam. He can't keep Fulmer away. Go ahead, Gene. All you're doing is making money. Look at that Fulmer. He won't stop punching. He's hungry. You're losing the fight. Throw uppercuts. Get them off of you. Do something.
can go and get paid. What a way to make a living. Fulma wins it. What a fight. Joey, here's a kid here, Gil Turner. Never did win a title. He fought for it. But one of the great fighters who never won a title, sort of like Harry Greb. Great, but never quite got there. Yeah. And that's the, the, really the goal they look for, is it? It is. It's too bad now. because uh, he had the ability to condition, and he liked fighting an awful lot. He just quite didn't make it, and we feel bad. Well, I, I beat Gil Turner one time. You did? Well, not fighting. We played gin rummy. It was a rainy afternoon. We had nothing to do. It figures, Joey, because I think he could take you. Oh, yes. Even now. Oh, uh, uh, 20 years from now, he can take you. I don't look for fights, Rob. You don't. I'm a runner. Joey, you're there now, and main event you kept punching and made it big. I give all my guests this little memento, a pair of golden gloves, to remind them that you've got to keep punching, to stay a main eventer, and even after you've made it. Oh, gee, thank you, Rocky. That's very nice. Little set of miniature gloves, and it says, from Rocky Marciano, keep punching. This is very nice. I'll treasure it. The bigger they are, the nicer they are. If ever a small town boy has learned to be grateful, it's me, for I've learned that even a lucky punch can take you out of the main event. So keep your guard up, head down, and keep punching.